Hey fellow developers, in this video, I am going to show you how to add tool tips to your Unity game. The final result will be as shown in the video. We will make clean tool tips, which automatically scale based on length of text, and we will also add hover delay before showing the tool tip. If you are looking to add more advanced tool tips to your game, make sure to check out Pro Tips Asset, available on the Asset Store. Pro Tips lets you add tool tips to your game with multiple useful features, such as screen corner detection, stack comparisons, and many other features. The link for Pro Tips is available in the description of the video. Let's get started with implementing tool tips. I already have a menu set up for this tutorial, which is built using the Sci Fi G UI kit. Once we have our menu ready, the first thing we need to do is create an empty object inside our root canvas. I will call this the tooltip menu. Inside the tooltip menu, we will create another empty object called tooltip root. This tooltip root object will later be moved based on mouse position. Inside the tooltip root object, add an image object as a background. Inside this image, there will be two labels. One for the title of tool tip. And one for the details of the tool tip. Right now, the tool tip has a fixed height no matter how long our text is. To make the tool tip scale dynamically, add a vertical layout group to the background image containing the title and details labels. Also, we need a content size fitter on this background image. Set vertical fit of content size filter to preferred size. In the vertical layout group, check the height box of control child size. And now, just adjust the padding and spacing of vertical layout group. Now, as we can see the background image automatically scales based on the length of the text inside. After this, we need a canvas group component on our background image. This will let us create a fade-in effect for the tool tip. Finally, make sure that Raycast target is off for all UI components of the tool tip. Our UI is now ready. Next. Let's get started with adding code for the tool tip. On the tool tip menu object, add a new script. I will call this script tool tip manager. The first thing we need to do is move the tool tip to the mouse position. We can get the mouse position inside our UI using the function screen point to local point in rectangle. The function requires the root UI canvas as a parameter. And now, just set the position of the tooltip root object to that of the mouse using the transform point function. Back to Unity, assign the variables to the script. And perfect, our tool tip is following the mouse. Adjust the position of the tool tip around the mouse by moving the background image, which has the title and detail labels inside it. And there we go, the tool tip now follows the bottom right of the cursor. Next, let's create a script to make the tooltip appear only when the mouse is on top of a specific UI element. I will add the script to the green plus button. On your desired UI element, create a new script. I will call this script tooltip details. In the script, import the Unity Event System library. Then add the interface for pointer enter and pointer exit handlers. Create the functions for pointer enter and exit.
Inside these functions, we need to access the Tooltip Manager script. Since there are going to be multiple objects with the Tooltip Details script attached to them, it would be easier to access the Tooltip Manager by making a static reference of it, which we can easily access from anywhere. We will call this static reference instance. And now we can call the show and hide functions of the tooltip manager using the instance reference. The show and hide functions will simply enable and disable the tooltip object. Back to Unity, let's test the script. Make sure that the tooltip root object is disabled at start. And everything is working just as expected. The tooltip only shows when the mouse hovers on the green button. Next, let's change the text of our tooltip from script. Add two public string variables in the tooltip details script, which we can set from Unity Editor for each UI element which requires a tooltip. Pass these strings when we call the show function. Inside the tooltip manager, modify the show function to receive these string parameters. Add reference variables for the title and detail labels. And now set the text of these labels in the show function. Back to Unity, assign the labels to the tooltip manager script. And set the strings of the tooltip details to the one you want to show. Test the code. Perfect, the tooltip shows exactly what we want it to. Next, let's create a fade in effect. Create a variable to get the reference of the canvas group component of the background image. When the show function is called, set the alpha of canvas group to zero. Create a boolean to check if tooltip is showing. Set the boolean to true in the show function and false in hide function. And now in the update function, if the tooltip is showing and the visibility of tooltip canvas is less than 1, we can slowly fade it in. Let's test the code so far. Everything is working perfectly. The last thing we want to implement is a delay before showing the tooltip. For this, open the tooltip detail script. Create a Boolean to check if mouse is inside the current UI object. Set the Boolean to false in start function and pointer exit function. Set it to true in the pointer enter function. Create a float variable for the delay amount. Create another float for timer. Inside the pointer enter function, set the timer to zero. And now inside the update function, if the pointer is inside the UI object and timer is less than delay, we will simply increment the timer. When the timer reaches the delay value, we will call the show function. Make sure to remove the show function from the pointer enter function. Back to Unity we can see that our tooltip is ready. Now we can simply add the tooltip detail script to all the required UI elements. Modify the text of the tooltip details for each UI element. You can do this manually, or if you are dynamically populating objects inside an inventory, you can do this from code. And all done, our tooltips are ready. That's it for the tutorial on creating tooltips.
If you found the tutorial useful, make sure to like and subscribe for more Unity development videos.